Hey y'all, Smoking Uncle Frank back again. I just thought I'd throw a short little video up. Um, I don't know why. Because I really haven't got a lot to talk about. Um, well, maybe a little bit. Um, I've been exploring the internet, exploring the web, and I, and you know, I found a lot of stuff out on YouTube, but uh, one of the things I found out is that I found out this guy here is my tipman, my tipex. Uh, that you can get an upgraded valve assembly. There's a valve assembly that works in this thing that, that gives you more more power. And being my nuttiness, I saw that thing and I heard about it and I then I kind of did my little Tim Taylor grunt and said, you know what, I gotta get that. So I got that in the mail, uh, which is what the video is kind of about. I'm just um, telling you, gonna. I'm going to be putting another video up soon. This is a short video today. Uh, I'm going to be putting another video up though, and I'm hoping if all goes well, I'm going to I'm going to do a demonstration of how to install the thing because I've got to take this thing apart. And I've been kind of wanting to get this thing apart anyways because I want to examine something. When I when I put the uh, uh, what do they call that thing in there, uh, it's it's the kit that allows you to shoot first strike rounds out of it. Because these things, they just shoot round balls at first, and it's an upgrade. Um, um, I forget what it's called, but it it, it allows you to, um, allows you to shoot first strike rounds, which I really don't care about shooting first strike rounds. But I thought to myself, you know what, first strike rounds are about the same shape as those Grimberg HP rounds, those those slightly elongated ones, or they're, they're more bullet shaped. And I kind of like to get some of those and try those out someday. So, in this, so, so that 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 was the inspiration for me. Um, I've had this thing apart several times. I mean, I've, I've messed around with it. There's there's an O-ring in there that's been bugging me because they put a special O-ring in the thing. Instead of having the O-ring on the uh, on on the on the uh, uh, what do they call that? It's part of the firing assembly. The, the, there's a, the bolt that comes forward. One of the bolt. The, it's it's part of the bolt. Um, on the on the regular one, there the O ring goes around the bolt. On this one, on, on this particular with the upgrade, the the O ring goes inside of the um, the chamber. The little the little chamber that's there that the bolt goes into. I can't think of the name of it. Forgive me for being an idiot, but. Um, I want to get spare ones because um, the first time I use a thing, I put it in, I, I and, and I and I and I went back in because I'm fiddly and I went and I and I and I I must have got the O ring in wrong and get wrong that time because the firing bolt came back and it caught up in the thing and well, I, if that happened, fortunately I didn't I didn't, didn't damage the O ring. I was still able to, I was able to get it back in there and seat it, but it, it, it sits in a funny way. It just sits sits in there. And the spring presses up against. The, there's a heavy, heavy spring in here that that it presses up against it, holds it in place. And and without it, the gun won't fire. The gun, the gun just it, you fire it the first time and it just pop 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 pop. So it it doesn't function right without that. I I discovered that accidentally when I was when I was putting it together the first time because I I followed Rory's advice on. Um, on uh, ANS, he he did a little brief video on how to do it, and he left that part out. He didn't he didn't talk about that that uh, that extra O ring. He didn't he didn't mention it. He just said, "Oh, all the parts are there, so you don't have to swap them." Yeah, I put it together, and the damn thing didn't work. You know, I I know I didn't lose that O ring because it's a big white O ring, and there's no way I could have mis misplaced it because I when I had it out, I, I laid it out on the, on the floor there with a with a big white towel, so so that I can see everything, so so I, I have no idea. Uh, but but there was one in the package, so I just put that one in instead, and all was well. But I, I want to get some spare ones for that, but, and I've been trying to figure out which one it is, which part number it is. I'm, I've been ordered ordered a bunch of O rings from 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 um, Tipman Parts, and I thought they were the right ones, and I got them, and I'm like, well, okay, I got spare O rings for something else. They weren't the right ones, so I ordered some other ones that I think are the right ones. Um, from what I from what I read about it, it's uh, it has to do with the valve assembly, so or the uh, 
Yeah, but uh, the the gadget in there, I can't think the name of. Think of the name of. It. But I'm waiting to get those, and I'm getting the uh, the upgraded part, the upgraded. Um, oh, what's it called here? I let me look here. I got it on my. Uh, I got it up here on my on my page here. It's called. Uh, Oh, number 47, complete spool firing valve assembly uh, for the for the TC uh, the TCR. So it it's um, backward compatible with the TCR. Uh, the TPX uh, apparently that that part is uh, compatible also with with the TIPX, and it it uh, it opens it up more, and gives you more air. Of course, I'm not going. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to get as many shots out of it. But then, I don't care about that. I, I if I get if I get one good magazine out of it with high power, that that's what I'm looking for. Because I'm not shooting paintballs, which is which is one of the things that kind of bugs me about this thing. They put all these little ridiculous little windows and stuff. And this this window here, that one there, that right there, that guy there is always falling out when you take it out. I finally, I. I it's, it's supposed to be able to let you know that there's a round in the chamber. I'm shooting black balls in a black gun, and it, it, it's useless. All it's good for is keeping dirt and dust from getting inside the gun. So I, so I went in there one day after I, after I, um, after I, it fumbled with it so many times, put it in. I finally I got it seated down in there, and I took a little crazy glue and I went. I, I, put it around in where the cup where it sets in and I stuck it down in there and let it dry. So now it's, it's permanent. The gun isn't glued together or anything. I made sure of that. I just glued that one little piece to one side so that when I take it out, it stays where I want because it, it's always falling out. It's always going somewhere. So big pain in the ass. So anyway, then I'll be able to shoot. And once, then once I have the money and I can get some of those Grimberg rounds, then 12 round mag i gotta get some more of these too i like to get a i don't know maybe three more one came with the gun one one big 12 round mag came with the, with the uh upgrade kit and then i got two other i think these are if i forget how many rounds they, they take i think it's eight eight rounds uh, something like that seven or eight rounds so so anyway, but though these are just for for regular old round balls, they they won't shoot the uh, they won't shoot those Grimberg rounds. So I'm looking forward to doing that, and I want to get a better barrel for it too, because it's a stock barrel as well. It's, it's okay, but I want to get I want to get a better a rifle barrel. If I'm going to shoot the Grimberg bar Grimberg rounds out, of it, I'd like to get a nice lap call or something like that, and stick it in here for the Grimbergs when I try them out. And once I get, once I get better, my back's been killing me lately. It's, I've got pain shooting down my leg and everything else. So now I'll do a shooting video for you too uh, once I get this thing together. But I'm hoping that if all goes well, I'll, I'll do a demonstration. I'm hoping that I, I'm hoping that I don't fuck it up and end up throwing the video out because I get mad and start screaming at things. So, so. I think I've been in it enough times though now that I think I'm pretty confident in what I'm doing. So pretty, uh, pretty sure, uh, sure. I know where things are now and it's not that hard really, but you know, I can make things hard. Anyway, that's the video for today. Hope you liked it. Um, you know, always be ready says always be ready. Well, part of being ready, uh, before I cut off here, part of being ready is also, um, making sure you have backup parts uh, to fix your guns because, um, you know, some of those O-rings and that, they're not going to last forever. And when, when, when something breaks down, you, what do you want to send it in? Uh, send it in, tip it, and, and, and wait, a, wait a, a week or two for them to send it back to you to fix it. And then, and then the next time you got to do it. No, you got to learn how to do this stuff. You got to learn how to maintain your, maintain your guns yourself. So, so that's part of my always be ready uh, is, is, learning how to do things inside of them, not just, um, not just shooting them, but, um, uh, and, and having them, having them loaded and ready, but, but being ready to fix things when things go wrong. So uh, that, I think that's 
a very important uh, part. So if you're going to get one of these things, uh, don't be a novice. Uh, learn how to learn how to do things inside your gun. Like the like I got my first strike in that back there. I'm I'm getting a part for that too, a spare part for that because I want to keep it just in case. So because I'm a little bit particular about things, and I and I I don't I don't want to like my my Tiberius. You can't get most of the parts for that thing, so I'm hoping that I can just maintain it as is, uh, with what I've got. I've got I've got a bunch of uh, Tiberius O-rings. I got a kit kit of them. I got a couple of kits of O-rings, but uh, regulators and uh, and, uh, and that kind of stuff. Hopefully, I can just uh, I can just take the things apart and replace O-rings and that in them, and not have to worry about anything else like a fire pin going bad or something. Cause uh, yeah. I, I don't know how, how I'd get a hold of any of that because it's, it's a discontinued item and they don't make it anymore. Hope they bring it back. It'd be nice if they did, but, um, you know, I'm not going to hold my breath. Anyways, that's, that's me. I'm done. I'm shutting up now. Have a great day, guys. Uh, like, share, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, all.